If you're a landlord, you can probably relate to the awkwardness of having a rent increase conversation. I certainly felt awkward about it. And for that reason, ever since I started investing 15 years ago, I've had a kind of an informal policy of just not increasing the rent for current tenants. For a long time, it seemed like a win-win. They get a good deal as a thank you for looking after the place, and I get to avoid the hassle and the cost of finding replacement tenants if they leave. And I know from speaking to lots of other investors that they've done something similar. But recently, I came to the realization that this was a huge mistake. The thing is, keeping rents the same for a year or two is no big deal, but it stores up problems for the future. So for example, I've got a property where the tenants have been there for five years, and because rent increases have been so strong over the last couple of years, they're now paying at least 30% below the market rent, probably even less than that. What that means is, even if I start having those tricky conversations now, I'm never gonna be able to bring them back up to market rent. The jump is so big now, I can bring it closer, but I'm never gonna get fully back on track. Luckily, I'm in a position where I don't need to get them back up to market rent. But what a lot of landlords have found over the last couple of years is that because their mortgage costs have gone up so much, they've now gone back and looked at their rent and gone, oh, well, if I could charge market rent, then that would make up for a lot of the hit that I've just taken with a higher mortgage rate. But because this is the first time they're doing it, the tenants aren't prepared for it. And that's the other problem with this. It doesn't actually do tenants the favor that it seems to be. So if your rent just doesn't change for years on end, you'll get lulled into treating it as like a fixed item in your household budget. It just always is that. And then something happens. Maybe you have to move for some reason. Maybe the landlord wants to sell the property. Maybe the landlord is very happy for you to stay, but they say, actually, you know what? You need to pay more now. So you go, oh, well, this won't do. I'm gonna go and look around for something else. But then you realize that to get something just the same as you've got now, you're gonna to have to pay dramatically more. And this comes as a huge shock because rather than your housing costs going up a little bit every year and having to get used to that and budget for it, it happens all at the same time. And you realize that you're gonna to have to pay dramatically more just to get the same kind of thing that you've got already. So after 15 years, I've realized that I need to man up basically and not put off these awkward conversations and have regular rent reviews every year. So I'm now looking at my rents and benchmarking them against other similar properties in the same area. If rents for that type of property in that area haven't gone up, then I won't put mine up either. But if they have gone up, then I'll have a conversation about an increase. But I'll always propose an increase that is less than what they'd be paying to get something similar somewhere else. And that way you get the genuine win-win that I was searching for at the start. Because when the tenants go and look around, they'll go, oh, actually, we are getting a pretty good deal here. We can't beat this by going anywhere, anywhere else. So I might not want to be paying more, but it's fair enough. And they probably won't leave, which is the win for me. And again, it just kind of seems fair to give a good deal to people who you know are taking care of your property and paying the rent. Because if you try to max it out by getting someone else in, the risk is that they won't take care of the place or they won't pay. So I'd always prefer to not absolutely max everything out, but have the certainty instead. But is this even gonna keep being an issue? Rents have gone up ridiculously over the last year. Is that just a one-off because of the high inflation we've been having, or is it gonna continue? Well, watch this video next, where I explain what's driving the rental market right now and what's likely to happen in the future.